What is the craziest encounter of Ridge Kid Syndrome that you have experienced? I lived with five guys, and I was the only one whose parents weren't millionaires. Not clothes at all. They never cleaned. About once a month I would deep clean the house, but two days later there was garbage and food on the floor. I found out they all told their parents the poor kid made all the messes when one of their moms came by to scream at me. A guy I met in my early 20s was the richest person I've ever known. His dad was CFO for a big bank, but died when my friend was 14. He grew up in a massive mansion, had his rent paid for in a luxury rental building, and had unlimited funds for drugs. Eventually, his mom forced him to go to rehab, which he did for a couple of months. One day, while he was at rehab, my roommate got a call from him. He said he's outside and didn't know where else to go. He had been cute off from his money, knew that we had an extra room, and asked if he could stay with us while he learned basic life skills, getting a job, buying groceries, cleaning, budgeting, etc. Closed bracket, we let him, against our better judgment, about a month in, he had managed to stay sober, keep a job, and not be such a parasitic piece of shit. His mom thought he was doing better to, so she reconnected him to his money. His whole attitude and demeanor completely changed. All of a sudden it's I don't have to stay in this shitty apartment. Living like I'm poor. I don't even have to stop doing drugs. I've got my money back. He left right before rent was due. And basically told us to fuck ourselves. Two months later. He had the exact same situation happen. His mom cut him off again. Forced him to go to rehab. He left again and called us. But this time we figured he'd rather not live in our shitty apartment living like he's poor. A consulting manager I worked with was literally Stifler. Even looked like him. He was a Harvard grad. Dad was an exec at a huge consulting firm. Smart. But incredibly ditzy. And trying really hard to be normal. He walked into work one morning. And asked one of his trainees. If he slash they got. Paid this week. Because he literally couldn't see the difference in his bank account. Not scathing like most of the ones on here. I grew up attending a private school in a developing country so a lot of my classmates were in the 1% of the country. Whenever we'd be swimming in the school pool one friend of ours in particular would always remark that swimming is more fun if the pool has a current or waves. To which I had no idea what he was talking about and generally thought he was just being imaginative. One day he invited me over to his house for swimming and... He had a 50 foot indoor pool that generated a current slash waves. He wasn't lying. They are a lot more fun. My college roommate's mom gave him fucking $1400 for the weekend just randomly. He blew through the whole thing by Saturday, asked his mom for more money, and was screaming at her because she promised $1400 for the weekend, and he spent most of what she gave him on Friday, which isn't a part of the weekend. Knew a trust fund girl whose dad gave her the money to start a company. She lost it when she went on vacation for 6 months and forgot she was supposed to pay her employees all the time. She assumed they would not get paid for 6 months and be there when she got back. I quizzed her on this for a few minimum and it was clear she had no idea what a job was. I actually have a bit of a different story than most of these. Met a friend in Ekin 101 on my first day, pretty humble kid and all around good guy, so we got along well, and were in the same study group. Turns out, kid's dad owned like a supermarket chain in HK and his mom is a managing director at a hedge fund on mainland China and they were shit loaded. He never let it show though, and I only found out, after about 3 to 4 months of knowing him. His parents put him in boarding school when he was a kid, but he said it was actually pretty tough, since the school gave zero fucks about privilege. Classes were like one teacher to every three kid and they were hardcore. They eventually sent him overseas for high school in this really upscale place in North Carolina for four years. He was one of the most well-mannered kid I knew in college and super humble. Got straight A's throughout college and made me pay attention to, since I was prone to slacking. I ended up doing an internship in my junior year with his mom's fund and she wrote me a letter of recommendation later on to help me get a job. We still keep in touch occasionally, and he's working for a bank in HK now pretty much following his mom's footsteps. Still come by New York, 
to visit every year and we usually have dinner with ourselves. It's really weird cause I see these kids at school driving orders slash BMWs and this kid is just there to study like everyone else, even though his parents might be the most loaded people I've seen at the school. Look up Corona Del Mar High School cheating scandal. Happened at my school. Parents paid around 50k a piece to have a tutor bug the school computers and change students grades. They all lawyered up big time when it came out and all the kids got off free and all made it into their top 3 schools. Edit. I would also like to add that this made the news and all the parents whined that their children were innocent and just had a bad tutor had a girl I went to school with total 4 brand new cars, think Range Rover, Escalade, ETC. I was also in a class with this girl when the teacher handed out papers that needed to be signed by a parent and she signed it herself and tried to turn it in the same period as it was handed out and freaked out when the teacher wouldn't accept it. Kids who would talk shit and pick fights and then turn around and say if you touch me my dad will sue there are a lot more. A friend I met at uni flew from Auckland to London for a week to go shopping. Clothes were cheaper in London. So to him it made sense. His parents were from Singapore and had no idea just how much cheaper cars were in New Zealand. So when he said he needed $70k for a Toyota Corolla they gave him the money and he bought a used BMW M3. When he went home for the summer he asked if I could mind the car for him. Given his dad had pretty much cut him off at that point he just said I had to pay for insurance on it and I could treat it like my own. But as a 19 yo sharing a flat and barely getting by there was no way I could cover the cost of insurance, let alone petrol. This happened a couple of weeks ago at the Infinity dealership. I was in the waiting room with a very well dressed lady for our loaner cars. She left the waiting room to look at her loaner and came back crying. She said she drives a fully loaded QX80 and they gave her a QX60 with nothing in it. I said sorry that happened and asked how long she was going to have the loaner for. She said a couple of hours. I wanted to tell her to suck it up but instead I sat there quiet thinking how life must be easy for her to cry over a loaner car. A Saudi guy in the UK got in a crash with light damage to one side of brand new Mercedes. He called for one of his assistants to come get him. Even though the car was fully drivable, my friend rolled up on call with his tow truck and asked the guy where he wanted the Merc towed. The guy gave him the keys and said keep it, I don't want it. Apostrophe. Girl got a 2 year old Range Rover for her 17th. Now 20 and still doesn't have her license. Sits unused in their 4 car garage. I used to have a friend who would constantly say I love when my dad gives me money. And if I ask for a certain amount of money my parents always give me $50 extra. This girl then bought her apartment boasting about it on Facebook and how proud she was of herself how at 23 she was able to afford a home at such a young age all on her own. Still makes me want to face plant into a pile of jagged rocks. A girl in my school was surprised by her parents in the school's parking lot with a new BMW. A freaking BMW. Everyone who is out is basically watching this go down, and she starts crying. At first we are all thinking it's because she's so happy, but then she runs back into the school. Apparently they were supposed to show up earlier, I'm assuming when there would be more students to witness the surprise. I felt bad for the dad, because he looked totally embarrassed and sad about it. You know in his head he's like, I created this monster. Semicolon. Dad bought his college aged daughter a house in a very nice neighborhood so that she and her friends could live rent free while they attended university. He remodeled the entire house. In all he probably spent close to 2 million dollars. Two weeks after moving in, they left a candle burning while they went to the store to get snacks for a football game. Came home and the house was on fire. A month later, it was good and new for them to move back in. Not exactly rich kid syndrome, but there was this family that had two children who attended the elementary school that was connected to my middle school. Every day the two parents would leave the house and drive separately to pick up their two kids before returning home. I should mention at this point that they each drove a Lamborghini, one black and one orange, back to back in the pickup line to get their kids from elementary school. 
At first I thought they were just being showy, but then I realized that they were two seaters. So this was really the only way to do it. My personal favorite was in college. Kid down the hall from me bought a brand new Fender Stratocaster and played with it for a day and got bored and sold it to me case and all for $20. I still have it and play it 15 years later. It's a great guitar. My brother and I grew up working class. But when my mom remarried we were all of a sudden in the 1%. One day when we were in high school, my brother's girlfriend came over to our place in tears. It turns out the family's Mercedes was in the shop, and she had to use the Audi. I had a scholarship to private school for my secondary education, 11 to 18. We were by no means poor, but compared to the people who were paying full school fees I was a peasant. The vast majority of the students were wealthy, and about half of them were spoiled little brats. Most of the kids got given cars for their 17th birthday in anticipation of passing their driving tests. One boy in particular in my year had a September birthday, so was one of the first to take his test, and he had a huge house slash garden. So he already knew how to drive, you can drive on private land at any age here. On the day he passed his test, he got dropped off back at his school in his shiny new sports car, I don't know what type it was, I jaff about cars. But everyone else seemed impressed. He picked up a couple of friends to go for a spin. And before he got 100 meters up the road, he completely wrecked the fucking car. His dad bought him a new one the next day and he complained that it was the wrong color. Had a kid that lived across the hall from me my freshman year of college from Honduras. During one of the icebreakers after freshman move in he leaned to me to ask if I knew when the maids came to make his bed slash clean. I guess his family was very well off in his home country and the entire semester was an eye opener for him in actually taking care of himself. There was this rich kid in our class who was literally disgusted by us buying used stuff like computer parts on ebay. Once during conversation I said I bought on ebay memory module for my pc and said to me that I should have a little dignity and if I buy used stuff I should keep it to myself. I live in a town that sits on the shore of a really big, not great, but still big, lake. My friends and I decided a few years ago to buy a boat we could take out onto the open water. None of us are poor but none of us have a shitload of extra money on the side, so we did it as cheap as we could. We bought a decent boat that was over 30 years old and spent 2 years rebuilding the engine, refinishing some of the interior, and generally getting the thing shipshape. We were super proud of the fact that we managed to get a fully functional and reliable boat together for a little under 5 grand. Here is where the story starts, we were out on the boat on a beautiful Saturday drinking beers and cruising the beaches for girls that might want to ride on our new boat, this is why any straight man owns a boat. We pulled up to a beach and anchored and eventually a few girls waded out to us to see if they could have a couple beers. One thing led to another and they were climbing aboard to head out for a spin. This is when I noticed one of the girls was not really excited to be on the boat. We got to the middle of the lake and started swimming off the boat, having a good time, except for that one girl. My friend asked her what was wrong. She replied I don't even feel safe on this piece of shit. That's my grandmother's island over there, drop me off now. We were hurt that we had put so much effort into the boat and she dismissed it as a piece of garbage, but whatever it is kind of a beater. We dropped her off on the island. The dock had over 5 million dollars in boats parked at it. The girl sucked, but grandma was awesome. She brought us all ashore for beers and food, and berated her granddaughter for being such a snob. Little old lady, 80 plus, lives out there alone all summer. We go back to the island all the time, to help granny with the yard work and such, in exchange for hanging out on a private island, but I haven't talked to the granddaughter since. This one is kinda mild I guess, but goes to show how clueless wealthy kids can be completely unaware of the disparity between them and average income people. Anyways he picked me up in a new $85.000 sports car one day, the newest Corvette special edition model fresh off the line. I said holy shit dude your car is incredible. He said he wished everyone knew he had to work a full month with his grandfather and earned it himself.